more of our Democracy 2020 coverage, the three men running for governor of Indiana will face off in their first debate tonight at 7 in a virtual setting. WRTV's political insiders take their, give us their take on tonight's top race. Some of the big issues that are confronting this governor and every governor in the nation is their response to COVID-19. You just heard Kip too talk about that the governor will have to answer many questions. Will, will those be easy things for him to answer or will he be under attack by Mr. Rainwater and Mr. Myers? Will he have to answer a lot to both of these men? The governor has had a record up to this point of following the advice of his health officials and his doctors, and I have no reason to believe that's any different now. And I think that the governor has uh, exhibited some strong leadership in the beginning of the pandemic, but to sit back and wait to see which way the political winds blow is just not responsible right now. The governor actually has a very good uh, positioning in this where he's going to be attacked from rainwater for saying people should wear masks and he's going to get attacked by Woody Myers saying you're not doing enough. And he's going to actually be able to come out looking like a reasonable, sensible middle ground, which is um, which is a good political move. It Don't wear a mask is crazy. I mean, it's just crazy. All the science says you help solve this problem by wearing a mask. So having someone over here saying, don't wear a mask, and the other guy saying, here's what we ought to do with the science, maybe we follow the guy who's actually been the public health director who actually knows something about this. Early voting is up. What do you say about all those folks that have been waiting either minutes or hours to vote? Folks are participating. We've had pretty low numbers, frankly, of turnout here in Indiana and all and a lot of variety of races. And it's going to see if people are passionate about voting. I mean, the more people that vote, I always think is a better thing for our democracy. We need to be prepared for a wait um, on election night. I don't think we're going to have results. It may well take us into the next day or the following day. And it's important for people to remember that that could be completely normal, nothing nefarious. I'm very hopeful that this pandemic has given us an opportunity to really have a serious look at why we don't expand voting more in Indiana. Our political insiders, thank you so much. And our coverage of Democracy 2020 continues right now on WRTV.com.